Hey everyone, before we begin, I've got a quick channel update for you. First I'll say that more Minecraft probably won't be here until March. I'm sorry for that, but the rest of this month and next month are going to be spent wrapping up some series that I've had going for a while like Raft and Hollow Knight. Second, for 2022 I have got a ton of new games that I want to do a what if talked on, many of which you all have been asking for for a long, long time. And some that I've been waiting for for a long, long time, you're just going to have to deal with that one. That said, this year I am going to be pretty picky about which ones get multiple episodes. You may find that there are more one-offs this year. I hope not, but I'm sorry in advance if your favorite game or series doesn't end up getting more episodes. There's a lot of reasons for this, which I'm glad to go into, but it's a long explanation for another time. You can ask if you want down in the comments and I'll answer you. Plus, we need to get to this video. But first, this video is sponsored by Mecharena a mobile tactile team-based shooter with the perfect balance of casual and skill-based competitive gameplay. Mech Arena features tons of mechs, each with unique abilities and playstyles, like the Paragon, which can move fast to get in and out of combat quickly, or the Kill Shot, which can damage opponents by ramming into them. Each mech can be equipped with a huge variety of weapons, so that you can customize your mechs to fit your playstyle. There are also hundreds of skins and paint jobs for your mech to help you show off your personality. Mech Arena also features a load of game modes to experience, such as Control Point Capture, 5v5 and 2v2 Deathmatch, tournaments, and more. Just recently, Mech Arena also added the brand new mech, Stalker, with the Predator Drive ability. This month, Mech Arena is adding another pilot to the roster, Nova, whose special ability, Sky Strike, lets it slam into the ground to take out other mechs. Plus, there's a new weapon coming and an update for the Paradise Plaza map. I personally enjoy how easy it is to drop into a game and kick some mech. Uh, butt? Do mechs have butts? Someone look into that. Anyway, I appear to be pretty decent at the game, so in your face, other people I don't know! Mech Arena is completely free to play on Android and iOS right now. And you can use my personal link in the description below, or the QR code right here, to get 50,000 credits, 3 gold crates, and an exclusive skin to help get you started. And you can also play with me by adding me as a friend in Mech Arena. Just use my player code on the screen. Now on to the video! The hell? Is there a girl up there? Oh, careful. I really don't need acupuncture in my ass. Ugh. Hey there. How the hell did you get in here? Well, I wasn't planning on it. Oh, you forgot about me. I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. I mean, I don't even know you. Unless I do, in which case you were very correct. Oh? Who are you? Oh, thank God, I don't know you. I'm, uh... I still don't remember. You can just call me Knight. Most people do. Your face! You're so... so... I get it! I don't have a nose! I'm a hideous, noseless monster! Why can't you people move past it? Sorry, I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. It's all right. And I can't even remember my own name, so I can't judge. I... you came here to rescue me? Greta? The girl that everyone just ignores? Uh... yeah. It definitely wasn't just a coincidence. Sorry. When I look at your face, I can hardly... More jokes about my nose? Really? Starting to think I am gonna leave you behind. I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody. One more joke about my lack of nose and there won't be anybody. Sorry. I mean, thank you. I mean, I better go. Back to town, I mean. I better get home. Yeah. Hey man, you still dead? Good. Huh, guess I need to go down. Ah! My knees and that glass have something in common. They're both shattered. <laughs> there we go. Wonder where this leads. Oh boy! <laughs> ah, that was a kneecap. And I'm in a sewer. Great. Hey there, cute little guy. Whoa! Puberty hits you hard! Ah, I fell in the water! <laughs> Who knows what's in here? Ah, hell. Whoa, biggin. Hello there. <laughs> Don't take something if it isn't yours. That's the law. I'm aware? What? Everything you see, it belongs to me. To what extent? D don't be angry. I'll share my food with you. If you give me Geo. 
Yeah, sure, I could eat. Mm, this geo is mine now. Don't try to take it back. Do I at least get the food I paid for? Otherwise, I will be taking it back. By force, if necessary. Here, take your food with you when you leave. Guess we're done here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm not eating this. Ew, 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 ew. Nose? Nose, you here? Oh, go away, you literal balloon animal. Hey, a nose. Ho, oh, oh. ho, aren't these waterways thrilling? A labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. Thrilling, vomit-inducing. I couldn't have asked for a better place to employ my talents. It's all so orderly, so considered. Nothing like that crude irregularity of those caverns. I know, how dare nature be crude and irregular. Ah, uh, but so sad. My trunk is telling me those fungal wastes are close, and I sense my damp adventures may have reached its end. Guess I'll be calling this map done. Uh, look at me, my glorious nose can sense things. Shut up. Oh, come on, this place is seriously disgusting. Suddenly I'm really glad I don't have a nose. And why does everything have teeth? Lunch. And an extended stay on the toilet. Oh, that was probably expensive. My bad. I don't know what kind of eggs these are, but hopefully Mama ain't mad at me about this. They're just so fun to pop. <laughs> Whoa, there's Mama. We're just gonna leave you here. Yeah. It's all your eggs. They're looking great. Definitely not smashed. Nope, no siree. <laughs> Ciao. Uh, what an incredible smell I've discovered. I assume. No nose. Ah! The poo has gained sentience and is gonna eat us as revenge! Okay. Dude, you are swimming in poo! Oh, come on! Don't throw that! What the hell, man? I thought we'd evolved beyond flinging feces! No, I don't need this shit! Ah, ah, you know, after what you just threw at me, this is fine. I desperately need a bath. Oh, never mind. No amount of bathing will ever take away the horror of what I've just seen. Ah, hello there, feces flinger. It's you again. I'm glad to see you've returned. Well, I'm not glad to be here. No, no, please don't say a word. I must apologize for my previous behavior. Yes, you must. Entirely my fault. I mistook you for one of those mindless skulking husks, yet you bested me in the most majestic knightly fashion. Yes, the most majestic knightly fashion. Covered in poo. Such joyful, vigorous combat. I'd almost forgotten the feeling. I was once a knight, you see. By the grace of our good king, I stood proudly before the throne, watching Hollow Nest swell in greatness. Can you not say swell to greatness? It evokes a weird image. Then that nasty business with the affliction. Are you talking about the great poopening that you now reside in? We knights defend against the physical, but a formless enemy. How to defeat such a foe? Formless enemy? I'm lost. Are we still talking about poop? Because you definitely formed that sh down below into some weird, disgusting statues. Oh, hello. Did I interrupt tea time? <laughs> ah! I appear to have walked into a very polite and well-mannered trap. Ah! Rude! Hello again, weird girl. Glad to see you made it back. Oh, guy. Sup? That lovely young lass returned to us. Yeah, well, no need to thank me. I must admit, I placed thin odds on her survival. You all were taking bets on that young girl's life? Am I still able to get in on that? Seems to think very highly of a rescuer. Some sort of dashing warrior type. Barely stopped gushing since she got back. Well, I don't like to brag, but... The warrior must have passed down below whilst I was taking my nap. Such a shame. I'd have loved to meet so impressive a bug. Yeah, because it couldn't have been the short noseless guy or anything. Why don't you go back to your nap or tend in your lawn, old man? I bet there are whippersnappers on it right now. Whoa, I am somehow simultaneously honored and creeped out. Eh, what's this? The white savior. The maiden woke in darkness. Confused, she reached out. Did, did she write a story about me saving her? Huh, <laughs> wonder how it came out. Sharp brambles jabbed at all sides. 
Burning acid bubbled close below. What nightmare had led her here? What hope of survival remained? Doomed, she thought herself, and to despair she fell, until a light bloomed far in the distance, a bright glowing spot fast approaching. It swept majestic about the thorns, leapt above the burning waters, and dove towards the maiden. Hey, this is pretty good. What'd I do next? Coming close, the form revealed at last a beautiful being. Sharp horns gleaming white, arms reached out for the damsel, gathering her up. Grip firm. Huh. It's good. I mean, she's bonkers, but it's good. Well, this place is certainly bright and welcoming. Oh, crap. That can't be good. Um, can I? Nope. Damn it. What does this thing say? To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomon, the teacher, in her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. Lyran, the watcher, in his spire, looking over the city. Hera, the beast, in her den amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, hollowness last eternal. Well, cool. Good for them, I guess. Ah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Go no further than a shadow. Again. Considering you all had me trapped, I wasn't going anywhere. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to this sacred kingdom? Wish I knew. Something was just calling to me. A call beyond the seals. By the vessel. Or by that captain light. You all seem to know more than me. Perhaps you could fill me in? Would the seals break? They cannot be undone. Still not sure what we're talking about. But the vessel weakens. That plague springs anew. They must be undone. You're sending mixed messages again. Yet still our seals remain. Our duty holds. Yeah, I'm not sure we're having the same conversation. It must be cast away. Context, please. Our duty holds. It shall be done. Oh, hey again. Good to see y'all. Fade away, little shadow. Fade away. And let us sleep in peace. <sighs> Ow. I really hate those bastards. Where the hell am I? That's not good. That's not good! Oh, like hell I'm following you! Eh, I have nowhere else to go. Totally not nerve-wracking at all! I hate it! What the hell, you stupid fluttering phantasm? Why'd you make me jump all that? What a terrible fate they visited upon you to cast you away into the space between body and soul. Oh, that's just the relationship those spirits and I have. They put me through immense excruciating pain, and I... let them. Will you accept their judgment and fade slowly away? Probably. Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad, forgotten dream? What weapon? Are you coming on to me? Don't get me wrong, I'm flattered, but I don't think it's gonna work. I'm physical, and you're incorporeal, and it's gone. Is this the weapon? Ooh, it is. Ah, why does it hurt? Uh -huh. uh -huh. <sighs> well, that's a sound to wake up to. Where the hell am I now? Ah, you've returned. Welcome back to the waking world. Thanks, I'm familiar with the waking world. I live here as long as I'm not knocked unconscious, which happens far more often than I'd like. Those figures, those dreamers, they reached out with what little power they still have and dragged you into that hidden place. Yeah, those guys really like f***ing with me. But that talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Good, then I need to go find them again and show it to them. Though I must admit, that sacred blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps, we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. What essence? Are you coming on to me? Essence. 
The precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it wherever you find it, and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work wonders together. Yeah, you're coming on to me. Look, I'm flattered, but... That is a gnarly looking tree. Ugh. Huh. Guess essence is real. Is it possible he wasn't coming on to me? Nah, of course not. I'm cute as f What the hell is that noise? Sounds like someone hacking up a hell of a hairball. It's okay, man. You'll get it. Ding dong. Ah, oh, hey, man. I am sure glad to see you. Ah, uh, many stag stations have been opened. Again, I can travel the breadth of the kingdom. So many grand thoroughfares and old sideways I'd forgotten. That's cool. Anything I'd be interested in? Somewhere amongst the lines lies the stag nest, the place where I was born and raised. I thought its location lost to my failing mind. But now I can almost remember the path. Been there, man. Though I bet my failing mind could give yours a run for its money. Problem is, we'd both forget. What can I do to help? If you keep opening stag stations and beckoning me through them, perhaps I'll again find that nest. Ah, I would like that very much. You got it, Staggy. Can I call you Staggy? Ah! You made that extra bumpy on purpose! I'm guessing that's a no on the nickname Staggy. Wonder if she's in. Hmm, nope. Ooh, a new entry. The white savior returns. Ooh, what I do? Long had they remained apart, and the village, once so warm, now grew cold. The maiden felt the well of grief. It gripped fierce about her lonely shell. And suddenly, as though her tragic state was sensed, the savior returned, standing tall, glowing bright. I see we're going for a complete fiction now. Below shining horns, eyes welled black, glistening, eyes only for the maiden long missed, long desired. Uh-oh, she's getting delusional, or delusional-er. Her savior leaned close, sat beside, perfectly composed. In that charged, breathless moment, not a word need be spoken. The maiden's shell felt suddenly tight, ew. Her claws curled, ew. No glance was shared, no claws touched, just perfect, aching love shared in silence, together. I've talked to her like once! If I had hair, I'd almost guarantee she'd somehow have a lock of it. Oh my doom god, a bath! Finally! Ah, oh, this is nice. Tissa, long time no see. What's up, man? Gah. What a calm place. It's action I want. Vicious and deadly battle. This serenity is a bore. I know, right? Warm, calming baths. Ew, gross. Give me giant poo-flinging death machines any day. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are weird. Hey there, how's it going? I'm guessing it's been better. <laughs> now don't you look pretty. I think this is working! There we go! Gotta protect the assets, right? You know, all it would take is a pocket full of this stuff and I'd be set for life. And they're just wearing it on their posterior. That is a different kind of wealth. God, I'm out of shape! Well, this looks familiar. Don't worry, little guy. I'm coming! Just don't end up writing any fanfic about this! Oh, hey, um, you got a little something on your face. Here, let me help you out. Ah, okay, never mind, my bad! Right back at ya! Ah, he has lasers! Why does everyone have lasers?! Oh, screw that! Whoever invented this should die! <sighs> Quirrell, buddy, how the hell did you get up here? Uh, quite a view, no? I mean, if you like dark and dank, sure. I'm not surprised you survived the trek through these shimmering caverns. 
I know I'm surprised. There's an air of strength about you. I suspect it would be quite intimidating, if not for your small stature. I am adorably deadly. But bring up my stature again and I'm lopping you off at the ankles so you know what it feels like. Not getting anywhere that way. Wonder what's this way. That's creepy. Creepier! Also, I can't see a damn thing! The light has pierced my soul! And all I can think is the light. All hail the light! Ah! Aww, I miss the light. Huh. Suddenly I feel like I can... Ah! Super glad I don't have a nose, otherwise it'd be shattered. Let's do it again! Ah! Ow. Huh. What's going on in here? Hello? Really? Ah, what the hell? Don't do that! Yeesh! Welcome, small intruder. I've been sound asleep in here for some time. Some time? Was that a question? How should I know? Ah, yes. Yes, well now you've gone and woken me up. It's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. This isn't one of those I'm gonna take your kidneys while you sleep type of helps, is it? I am Gigi, and if you have found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. Eh, I've decided against having a nose. I could use some new knees. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world, like black stains. Like skid marks? If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Trust me, you do not need regrets to lose hope. Do you have regrets of your own, little one? Ho-ho, oh, do I. Come into Hollow Nest for starters. Let me peer into you for a moment. Okay. Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky for you. You don't need the services of one such as I. Wow. You're not very good at your job, are you? No regrets my ass, stupid. I wish you ghosts would stop doing that. Ah, uh, another wielding a weapon. I suppose you'll be leading many a corpse in your week. You know it. Open, you weren't one of them. Sorry if you were. If you won't spare thought for the dead, at least consider all the extra work you force upon those in my profession. I don't spare a thought at all if I can help it. Stop talking! You're not helping! Do you want me to leave the room? No. I get it! I don't have a nose! I'm a n ho And I can't even- And I can't- And I can't even deliver a line. I see the honeymoon faint is a- Sounds like someone hacking up a hair. Hair. Ha ha. 